theory will certainly need some refinements, but um, what I'm going to argue for is roughly the four major lines, and that all of other lines, in some regards, are fallouts or, or subsets of these major lines, two of which um, are like central to integral theory, namely um, states of consciousness and stages of consciousness. And I'm going to argue that um, emotive connectivity is another one, roughly speaking. Now I'm going to try to, to frame that a little bit more clearly, as well as moment-to-moment -moment integral embrace of perspectives. Different, I'm going to argue, from stages of consciousness in some sense. Now all of these, all of these different developmental processes continue. There's maybe no end to them. And each of them are, again, fractal in nature. So it's really hard to express the multidimensionality of this, but you know, one way that I've talked about states of consciousness, again, is that they kind of, I believe, reflect the chakras in a certain sense. So that sort of nature mysticism is sort of like the root chakra in that it's kind of the groundedness or connectedness of moment-to-moment -moment experience of reality, physical reality. The second chakra is much to do with sort of the subtle state, the dreaming state, the astral realm. So that's the second major state of consciousness. The third major state of consciousness is your solar plexus, and that's sort of the causal, the creative ground, the mind ground in a certain sense, the kind of individual locus of mental experience, you know, it causes in a certain way. And then the fourth major center is like the non-duality, the embrace, the integral holding of others' perspectives. And again, those are reflections of the four major quadrants, as I've noted a number of times. Like the root is the upper left, the second chakra is the lower left, the third chakra is the upper right, and the you know the fourth chakra is the lower right. Okay, so so that's one part of it. Now imagine that is in some sense just the main focus of the upper left in the sense that it's integrity. In t the degree of one's integrity is the degree of movement um, through these states of consciousness so that there's, and there's these, these other two major ones in some sense, but you know if you have fluidity of movement through those major states then in some major, major sense you have a great deal of integrity. Okay, so now the next major system that sort of arises of, you know, those are fun, foundational in a certain way, but then the next major one that sort of arises out of that, because it's the second chakra in a certain way, is emotive connectivity. And emotion is sort of like morality and or um, emotional care. And so, even though that's kind of located in your 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 you know second chakra center, it, it, you know it has much to do with the embrace of other, the degree of embrace of another being, um, the care for another being, and so again, you know that will show up in these other centers. But it's rooted, in my opinion, in that second center, and it has a developmental process to it. And that's why, in some real sense, the ground of being doesn't really have this um, care for others, because it embraces, it's already the ground of that. It's the ground from which that sort of comes, maybe. And then the third system is the place from which um, stages of consciousness sort of come, in the sense that the individual perspectival being sort of arises out of that third major center. Um, it's only in, you know, sort of the first tier where um, a self-reflector, you know, takes its ground. And so, you know, 
even though so these ones go all the way up but it really starts in some re real sense there you know before that it's you know lost in intersubjective space and then lost in subjective space here we have objective space where we can objectify reality and in doing that we are objectifying the actual levels of consciousness up into green roughly and then you know these stages are still going to continue but the focus shifts and now it's something to do with integral embrace of perspectives interobjectivity and this will have alongside these stages of development alongside these emotive stages uh, of care alongside these states of consciousness um, a new system of development that will move from there to do something like purposefulness in the integral space um, and so although states of consciousness are foundational in that sense they are the getting out of prison card you know to the the health within the space of being involves the stacking of these major different systems and they've been bound up traditionally within the chakra systems and then um, there's these other two that they're just not very there's not very much data on per se, but we can you can you know get some general stuff from just contemplating what they represent and such. Um, and so you know I've talked a lot about what this structure, you know, the state is non-dualism, the emotive center is sort of compassion, the degree of ability to put oneself in another's shoes is different from the emotive ground, but it's connected to it. So that's the emotional connection there. And then the the stage of consciousness is every from yellow to turquoise to, to coral to indigo and beyond up till the end of the what we call the second tier and my say fourth tier. And then there's this new, more integral thing that's going to, I believe, start very soon. We just don't have any contours for it, and I do believe that's connected to this whole notion of um, singularity, perhaps.